Hey, Real Talk Podcast. <laughs> Time Virgil Berry, aka Stacks with the Facts. And y'all know y'all tuned in to another episode of A hey, Real Talk Podcast. Smash that like button, click on the bell, subscribe to the page, and share your social engineer. First off, rest in the essence to Bob Lee. Rest in the essence to Bob Lee. Uh, Cash App is like many other money transferring uh, platforms. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, uh, Zelle, uh, and such of the like, right? Um, this is very spooky and very weird, man. And I want y'all to realize what's going on, man. It's not a coincidence. And it's so blatant that these people, I consider, listen, rest in the essence of Bob Lee. May the most high God, Yeshua, Hamachi, Yahweh, shall I cover him. His, he goes into his transition, his family, and everybody affected by this, man. You know what I mean? But uh, this stuff is getting kind of disrespectful. It's getting to the point where they're insulting our intelligence. So, they, not even two days after they announced that Russia, China, India, all the BRICS countries, Japan, Mexico, they are all... Africa, the whole continent of Africa, is getting together to create their own currency, reserve currency, outside of the U.S. dollar, which uh, actually is increasing in value, but decreasing in its reserve value on a global scale anyway. Um, Let me just say this, man, and I ask this question a lot when we had this conversation or a conversation concerning money. No, there's very few people who know what gives money its value. What makes it valuable, right? Uh, And if you don't know the answer to that question, the answer is inflation. And inflation is just increasing the physical paper money supply. That's all it is. So what gives money is value, how much of it is in circulation or how much uh, we believe it has the ability to do what we think and believe it's going to be able to do when we go to the store or make a purchase or whatever the situation is. It's all a game, it's all a ruse, it's all a scam, a big huge Ponzi scheme, fractional reserve lending, aka usury. Right, rest of the essence to Bob Lee. Now, Bob Lee, mysteriously, out of the blue, gets stabbed to death days after they announce that they're doing this. So, you know, I just want y'all to know, man, you know what I'm saying, that uh, this is a very, very serious situation. Very serious. Oh, yeah, my fault, man. Hey, man, oddly enough, that was King L's at the door. So, you know, I have to uh, holler at L's real quick, though. But uh, <laughs> anyway, very, very dangerous situation, right? Um, rest in the S is the Bob Lee. Now, um, <clears throat> now what is about to happen is we're uh, ever more uh, fast quicker heading to a cashless society. We already there now, down near, right? Now, with the value of the U.S. dollar down near going to, uh, or, the, or or with the U.S. currency not no longer being the world reserve currency, man. I just was telling L, man. It's about to get real bad out here, y'all. You hear me? This is why I be talking about something. We need to start linking up. We need to start creating chains of communication, uh, lines of communication, logistics. We need to, oh man, it's about to get wild out here. This is not no fear mongering. So we don't do that over here at A Real Talk Podcast or Every Talk Week. We don't do fear porn. But I want y'all to over here and understand the severity of the situation when the US dollar is no longer the reserve currency of the world, right? And also what it means. Uh, 
when companies like Cash App CEO mysteriously gets stabbed out of the blue. Days after they announced this. Oh my God, man. It's like I said, I was just telling L, man, it's disrespectful at this point, man. It's very disrespectful. It's an insult to our intelligence to think that this stuff is just randomly happening. It's very disrespectful. See, when you take out a guy like Bob Lee, you get rid of the number one money transferring, whatever system, whatever you want to call it, right? Profitable, privately owned, and now the government can introduce theirs, which they're calling the Fed wallet or some Fed wallet or something like that. Something they've been wanting to implement and have implemented, but they implemented it digitally during the pandemic when they was giving us that stimulus money that created our digital federal wallets. Do y'all remember when I was talking about that? And now we're about to have the actual governmental uh, application that's about to be on our phones to where if we want to transfer money, we have to go through the Federal Reserve System. Now, y'all see, I told y'all what's happening. We ever, ever more into a cashless society where it's, man, listen. Oh, man, smash that like button, y'all. Click on the bell. Subscribe to the page, man. Share your social engineer, man. Uh, this is getting serious, man. You know, I'm not even laughing or joking, man. I was about to do a video talking about something else, but I'm going to just wait till later. But this is serious. This is very serious, y'all. And I want y'all to over enter out of extra state. That if you're not already a millionaire right now, it's a wrap. They are completely going to destroy the entire middle class, which is most of us majority of us, overwhelmingly mass majority of us, they're about to completely wipe us out. Hit us with the assigned housing, assigned jobs. I've been telling y'all to read 1984, man. Now you can sit up here and deny this stuff, call me the conspiracy theorist guy. Thank you, I appreciate it. But pay attention to you in Agenda 2030 for global sustainability. At the same time, look at the Safety Act in Illinois, which is about to be spread all across the country. And then think about the legislation that nobody knows about, no politician talks about ever, H.R. 1955, the Violent Radicalization and Homegrown Terrorist Prevention Act. Hey. Drive through, yeah. walk through your hood, not just drive through. Yeah. In your hood, I'm good, I'm that fly dude. Yeah. All these bitches wanna kick it like Ryu. Yeah. In my DM, kissy face, hi boo. Yeah. If you're from up north, rip that shit. Say it real loud with your chest, nigga. Yeah. No NBA, no EA Sports, but I still ball. I'm from that nutty north. Act the green, Cleveland, that have number streets. Windsor Terrace, short north. On my north side, just ride with me. Brittany Hill, south my New Jack, towards the afternoon. Can't forget about Peace Street and they'll block too, cause they some goons. Most of all, was the best 
time my first hammer bone chain at That's where I saw my first stone of cocaine at Give me a beat, I'm a propane at Miffle the middle spot, let me spit flames at Peace Street, where I really so came at One of the reasons why the street is really named that Straight facts, I ain't never gotta lie to ya Little side pride, gotta keep it live for ya My crypt niggas dark blue like they play for Hoyas My blood niggas die moon like the Master Wars Can't forget about Genesee Avenue That's where a nigga made dividends revenue Murder Street, Miss Enos, Jerk Barbecue I advise Windsor and Cleveland Avenue Caddy Corner, Cross Street, Times Corner Store Just one thing, was your terrace famous for? Can't forget about the and J's, 4th and 8th Ain't just crib cooking up four ways of eggs On the north side, niggas, they're really great Then the better side of town, I sit and wait All your other side of town, y'all went away All your other side of town, y'all went away Number streets, Windsor Terrace, Short North, all my north siders ride with me.